your posterior chain or the back side of your body, and also stability through your shoulders. It's great for the shoulder girdle as you're descending with the dumbbell. Um, I don't recommend this exercise for someone that has had previous back injuries. It's important that you master a proper squat and don't have any pain when you're squatting or deadlifting before you try this movement. Traditionally, a dumbbell swing is done as a kettlebell swing. If you've done kettlebell swings before, same idea here, but it's important that you master that squat before you even try either a dumbbell or a kettlebell swing. So with the dumbbell, you're going to grab the dumbbell on the handle, hold on with both hands. You're going to begin in a squat position or feet parallel, a little bit wider than hip width apart, good straight back. As you descend into your squat, you're going to let the dumbbell swing between your legs and then bring the dumbbell up to shoulder height at the top. Okay, always keep good posture. Don't let that dumbbell pull your shoulders over. Make sure that you're always pretty much upright. So from the side, it would look like this. Shoulders stay up on the bottom, and then you swing back up to the top. Notice I'm up on my toes. There's a lot of momentum here with that upwards part of the swing. Swing back down, up on the toes. Up on the toes at the top. Notice my chest is still always pointing straight forward, never letting my body reach under. Okay, so keep it more of a squat and then stand up. So you're gonna really feel this down the back side of your leg. That's what's gonna be working to push you back up into that um, standing position. Never bring the dumbbell or the kettlebell higher than shoulder height. Just up to the shoulders on this one. If you get any pain in your low back as you do this exercise, stop the exercise, go back to regular squats, master the squats, and then come back to this exercise later as you get stronger. And that is the dumbbell swing.